Welcome back. We found our bike. Mysteriously back, even though we saw the bad guys leave with it. But we don't have any keys. Which is annoying. Oh, did you can't actually uh, kick your bike? Because um, if you use this, it will just try and use it. I'm not putting my lips on that. You'd expect some kind of funny comment about kissing his bike or something, but... Nope. What's down here? It's the wide, wide world. I don't know where this is set. Somewhere in the US, I guess. I I'd like never it. catch up to them on foot. <laughs> Worth a try. <laughs> That's where I came from. The wrong Nothing way. Nothing that way for me but a warrant. A warrant? What were you doing that way? Do we actually want to know? Probably not. Let's see, this is the bar we were in. The kickstand. One notable difference between Sierra games and LucasArts games is that LucasArts games almost never have a narrator. As far as at least I'm not aware of any games that have a narrator. They always have the player characters comment on things. Style also used in other adventure games, like for example Long's Journey. It's empty, but I can see the bartender in there. Hmm, the bartender. Perhaps he knows what went on. Hmm. Um, okay. It's a door. Open up. Apparently closed. But this is where that kick icon comes in handy. See? Why take the intellectual route when you can just kick the door in? I, uh, fixed your door. It was sticky. Look, I don't want no trouble. Just leave me out of this mess. Well, you'd better know where my keys are, then. Otherwise, you may not want trouble, but you're gonna find it. There's actually quite a few things to look at in this, uh, bar, so let's do so. Hmm... It's empty. Don't get any ideas. <laughs> no, we can't rob the place, apparently. Nothing to grab. It's empty. Too bad. Booze. Ah, uh, booze. That's what I said. Can't. Gotta ride. Ben's a responsible biker. Whole bunch of monitors up there. The monitor doesn't have any controls. I guess he has a remote somewhere. The monitor doesn't have any controls. Man, I wish they had a jukebox. Yeah, right. You can, however. Play. Yeah. I don't think it really wants to. Antlers. Those might look good mounted on my handlebars. Nah. <laughs> I, I agree that. They probably wouldn't. Those might look good mounted on my handlebars. Nah. What's this? It's a big blobby gray shape. I was taking an art class. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's one big fish. Yep. Fifteen guys with towels in their belts? My graduating class from bartending school. There's a bartending school? This is news to me. Are you the guy with the lampshade on his head? Or the guy chugging out of the punch bowl? Lampshade. Important to know, I guess. This your pit bull? Nah, that's my baby picture. <laughs> Uh, somehow I'm not even that surprised. Whoa. 
Watch it, that's my sister. I guess she looks good. Too bad we can't see. The monitor doesn't have any controls. More monitors without controls? A badger. Good thing that's a badger. Why? Because if that were a dead polecat, I'd have to trash the place. It's a matter of principle, you see. Well, they've got a lot of monitors here. I guess whenever the big game's on or something, they can watch it. I've never liked nose rings. Me neither, but someone dared me. <laughs> oh, okay, that's a good reason, I guess. Let's talk to the guy. Looks like you're out of customers. Yeah, your gang talk off with those... those well-dressed gentlemen. So what'll it be, Mac? And we get conversation options. Where'd everybody head off to? What am I, the cruise director? Maybe they're up on the Lido deck. <laughs> I think you're in on this whole bum deal. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do about it? What we're gonna do is talk what to you have? I want to know who knocked me out. Maybe you just passed out. You should learn to handle your liquor. Not likely. We were hit by the 2 by 4 I've never liked nose rings. Oh, me neither, that. but you want something? I'm looking for my keys. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, sure. You gonna order something? No. Okay, he's not being very helpful. And we don't have any I don't money. Have anything. Right clicking opens the inventory, and if you don't have anything, you just get that response. But perhaps we can coerce him a little bit. You know what might look better on your nose? What? The bar. Hey. Now don't mess around with me. All right, all right. I got your keys, but I don't know nothing. They had guns. They told me to stall you as long as possible. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I overheard them say something about an ambush up the road. What else? Nothing, nothing. Look, man. Here are your keys, all right? Oh, uh... Someone did say something about killing you and making it look like an accident. They didn't do too good of a job there. But why ambush the pole cats? I'd better get moving. Somebody's gonna ambush the pole cats. Obviously, we can't have that. On the plus side, we did um, get our keys back. Interesting looking inventory, by the way. The keys to my existence. Or his bike, anyway. Stop robbing your stubble. It looks silly. Um, okay, we've got keys. So we can ride. Hmm. So they left our bike behind and our keys in a place that we could easily find. Yeah, I'm sure that's on the level. I'm also going to save briefly. Um, road trip. There we go. Yes, I'm using Scum VM. What off it? I don't remember if you have to save for this. Probably not since it's a LucasArts game, but... Never hurts. When I'm on the road, I'm indestructible. No one can stop me. But they try. Hey! Ain't you the A number one pole cat hot show? Yeah, and you're in my way. Well, get used to it, bud. 
When the rock wheelers hit the road, we own it. Look, I'm serious. Someone's ambushing the pole cats. Someone's ambushing the pole cats? Oh, heavens, whatever will we do? <laughs> that does it. Come on, kitty. Let's get down. And not a part of this game that nobody likes. The battles. You can also choose to kick if you want. Know that if you are using ScumVM like I am, then at the very least make sure you press Control M to lock the mouse in the window because if you don't, this is pretty much impossible. Ah, damn it, he got my wheel. All right. Don't give okay, up you didn't have to say for that. This is an extremely annoying thing to do. And we're gonna have to do quite a lot of it later on in the game. Got him. <laughs> That's not a good thing. That has got to hurt. I'd like to read it just for something about killing you and making it look like an accident. Something about killing you and making it look like an accident. Don't worry. I have a plan. They had guns! Malcolm Cole is dying. Something about an ambush up the road. I have a plan. This is gruesome. My editor better print these in color. Now I have to get you some help, I suppose. Oh. Ah, quit moaning. I know someone around here who can fix anything. What are you? I'm a mechanic. And apparently a pretty good doctor as well. My name's Maureen. My name's Ben. Why did you hit me over the head, Maureen? You were in an accident. A reporter found you and brought you and your bike here. My bike? What have you done with my bike? Brought it back from the dead. Sort of like what I did with you. I need a little help getting it finished, though. Maureen! Isn't that the name he mentioned in the, uh... Opening text? I think uh, it was. Well, let's uh, talk to her a little bit. Seems she's helped us up and um, has attempted to fix our bike, although it seems to be missing a front wheel at the moment. Who are you? Maureen, remember? If that's too hard, maybe you should just stick with Mo. Do you have a last name? I prefer not to use it. What about you? Same deal. Then it's Ben and Mo forever, I guess. <laughs> it's an authorized quarterly service center. Yes, I'm sure. This an authorized quarterly service center. Now you could call this a quarterly service center, but I don't have the official paperwork. Ah, an illegitimate quarterly operation. I prefer to think of it as a renegade quarterly operation. The uh, subtext here is rapidly turning into text. Yeah, if you know, if you've played this game, you know what I'm talking about. If not, you'll figure it out eventually. 
Where'd you learn bikes? I grew up working on them with my dad. One summer we did nothing but restore this old hard tail together. I mean, we scrubbed every bolt until it shined. But he took off one day and he never came back. So I switched to toasters. Toasters? You live in this town? Well, Melonweed's not much of a town. What's left of it is sinking about a foot a year. People either learn to adjust or they leave, which is fine with me. Not a people person? I'm just better with toasters, that's all. You seem more concerned with me than your bike. Just trying to be polite, lady. How's it look? It looks better than it did, but you gotta help me out. The front forks are wasted, so you'll have to get some new ones. And someone stole my welding torch. Can you believe that? I can't finish without one. And last but not least, I patched up your ruptured gas tank, but you're out of fuel and I don't have any. Okay, so apparently we need to find those three things. That's not going to be easy. Where am I supposed to find all this stuff? You can hack it, tough guy. Where am I going to find new forks? Well, they don't have to be new-new, just not broken into little pieces. You could start by asking Todd in the trailer across the way. He runs the junkyard. A junkyard sounds like a good place to start looking, in any case. How am I supposed to find your torch? I don't know. Set up a dragnet. Still can't believe someone would steal my torch. Who around here would do a thing like that? I don't know anyone around here, so... Don't ask me. Where's the gas? Well, there's a whole tower full of it at the edge of town. I have this crazy, irrational intuition that tells me maybe it's worth checking out. Actually, I think I can handle it. Good. Sounds easy enough. I gotta get out of this town, fast. Trouble with the law? Not in this county. Then what's the hurry? My gang's in trouble. The polecats? How'd you know that? Big emblem on the back of your jacket. They're headed for an ambush, so I gotta catch them. We better get this bad boy back on the road then, huh? I don't have any money to pay you with. Hey, this one's free. I haven't touched anything besides a toaster for so long. Getting my hands on your hog has really been a pleasure. Well, thanks. Don't sweat it. She said she'd fix his bike, free, no strings attached. And he should have known then that things are never that easy. Well, I'll let you get back to work. Let me know if you need any aspirin or anything. Okay. We know what to do. Find forks, a blowtorch, and gas in the next video.